evening and welcome to episode 13 of the Walk for Let's Play season here with Makeshift. This is um, this is an interesting episode because we've turned the form around. We have turned the form around and uh, we'll go into the games we've played so far and we'll show you what we've done. But first of all, before we do that, let's take a look at the transfers we've made this season because it is the final transfer window. The final, final transfer window? The final day of the transfer window. And uh, looking at what we've done, um, as you've known in the previous episodes, we have been... Um, Pretty grim looking finances. We were in the red for everything, <laughs> which is pretty bad. But what we've done is we've made some major changes in the club. We've not signed anyone. We've got, well, I tell you, we've signed one player, I'll show you in a wee minute. But we sold a few players and we made some prof on a couple of the older players. So let's take a look and see what we've actually done this time around. So looking at what we've done this season, especially in the January transfer window, we brought in Steven and Zonzi from uh, Sevilla for 1.9 million and we brought Pablo Piatti from Valencia. For, on a loan, but we can buy him for like four or five million at the end of the season. We then went on and sold quite a few players. We sold four players this window, or three, three players and let two go on loan. So Capoue went to Stoke for 2.5, he just wasn't getting the game time anymore and he was taking up quite a bit of the wages. The next one was Boateng, who just wasn't playing at all, he was a pretty poor purchase for myself, but we got 3.1 million, so we're 3.1 million up on him. And then we sold Lucas Romero to Arsenal for 26 million. 26 million, so that's made our bank balance all the more healthy. So, more or less, this season all we spent is around 11 million, which is yeah, a okay with me. So, let's look at the games we played since say the Joe Fart episode, and that was a way back here in the end of December. So, we went on to beat Coventry 4 0 after this. Let's take a look at the goals we scored this game. <clears throat> So this was quite a, it's a bit of a whitewash this game to be honest, Murillo on the ball, back to Gilk at the back, to Chambers again, and down to Mbolo. And just while this game is playing in the highlights looking forward, I'd just like to say thank you very much for the support on the channel um, the last couple of days. We have managed, we're nearly at 200 subscribers guys. It's fantastic for just starting out again. So we're nearly at 200 subscribers, I hope to be that by the end of the week. We're only I think 8 away, so if you're not a subscriber of the channel, please drop a wee subscribe and a like as well, it makes all the difference. And Mbolo just puts it away for his second goal. So, if you haven't been watching some of the other episodes I've been doing, I started a, a challenge with Arsenal, and it's called the No Transfer Challenge that I've kind of made up myself. And, you know, the idea is just pretty much what it says in the tin. We're not allowed to make any transfers with the club, so if you want to check that video out as well, then please do so. It seems to have got an awful lot of love in the last couple of days for some reason. Um, over 200 views in the first day alone, which is absolutely fantastic. I'm really proud of that one. But um, we'll continue with this one as well. We'll have two series going on more, mainly alternative days. We'll see what happens. But we're going to keep this one um, for the team we'd like to improve, and the Arsenal one we're going to try and do without making a single transfer. And we'll probably end the Arsenal. Um, we'll end the the Arsenal series once the whole team is regen, and that'll be the end of the series. So that might take some time. That'll be the more long term save for me this season. Or this year's FM. So that was that one against Coventry. We then went on to win 4-0 against Newcastle. Let's check out the goals in this game too. So what I've done is I've um, brought over one of the tactics I've developed for Arsenal, saved it and put it into this team here because I've got a similar set of players in terms of uh, positions and roles and that seems to have helped me out a bit. I seem to be getting some more wins, some more goals even. So as we could jump into this game, uh, we scored the first goal there early on. Thiago Maia out to Zivkovic who's been fantastic. And Bolo, with the shot again, puts it into the back of the net to make it two inside the first seven minutes, which is fantastic because Newcastle are a pretty decent team here. And Bolo on the ball again, long ball in is Thiago Maia with a long shot outside the box into the back of the net, making it 3 0 before half time. And then the last goal of the game came, let's have a look here, a wee bit further along. Willie Jr. with a long ball out to Zivkovic, he misses out, but Zach will bring it down, and I believe it's pronounced Zach Clough. So that makes a lot more sense to call him that. So Mr. Clough getting involved out to him bowl and Zivkovic will put it away to make it 4-0. Now the next game we played against Redden in the cup and we won 1-0 which was pretty damn good. So let's take a look at this one lonely goal we scored here early on in the game. Piatti with the corner in, it's away. Ajer sets up Thiago with a thunderous strike in the back of the net and that made it 1-0. So the next game we have to play is against Stoke. <coughs> Now let's take a look at the team we're going to be playing. Uh, yeah, I'm actually quite happy with that. We'll bring on Pablo Piatti for... Ooh... And Zonzi probably. And the team is looking quite frail, I have to admit. It's not the best of teams, to be honest. 
and uh, what I've been doing for the likes of the the players in reserve, they've all been playing. Um, the players as sub and the reserves in this team here have all been playing football in the reserves, which is fantastic. So we'll move on, and we'll start this second game. This one against Stoke here just now. I'm quite nervous because they're sitting sixth in the league above us in the league. That's not too great for us. And if we do get this result, there is quite a gap when we get to fifth position. So um, I don't know whether or not we'll get European football this season. I would like to, but we're not doing as well this season as we were last season. Second season syndrome, I'm calling it. The players haven't settled quite as well as I want them to, which in turn we have lost around nine games this season. I think last season we only lost a total of around 13. So, as things stands, we are losing a bit more games this season, but do you know what, we're drawing less and we're actually winning a wee bit more as well, so it's kind of, it's a bit of a different one this year. And maybe once the season is, oh, as we go 1-0 down to Stoke inside four bloody minutes. Um, hopefully once this season is over and done with, we can then progress with the team and build it a bit more, because the young players are progressing all the time, and that's the idea behind buying young players, to be honest. And I'm quite happy with the team so far, but... Zach Clough seems to be picking up a couple of knocks and injuries the last couple of weeks, um, which has been quite... I'm keeping my eye on it just now because I might need to try and get another physio in. Seeing as the fact that he's getting injured quite often, which is a bit worrying. Because he's one of our best players. I don't want to lose him. It'd be pretty bad to lose him. But the ball goes away at Zach. I might have to give him a sub at half time, actually. Oh my god, we're 2 0 down against Stoke. Oh my god. Fuck's sake. Ah. Uh. I mean, Stoke, Stoke are a good team, I can't lie. And Carrillo with the ball in, well he doesn't get the ball in because Thiago manages to tackle him. But it's in there in the middle and it's another headed goal past the goalkeeper. Damn it. God damn it. I'm quite disappointed there. But come on boys, we can do it. Let's get back in the game. Mbolo, 2-1. We're in. We're getting back in the game. <laughs> we need to get back in the game. We really do. Now apologies for my voice does seem a little different tonight. Um. I just cannot seem to shift this cold that I've got and I think it's affecting my voice a little bit again. It's a bit more rough than it used to be, so apologies if you can't really understand a single thing I say, like most of the people I talk to, because of where I'm from. <laughs> but hopefully it's not too bad. I mean, at least I can understand me. <laughs> but Clough won the ball, back to number 19 and the goalkeeper will collect it again, which is a shame. But can we get another chance? We need another chance. Come on. Carrillo. Carrillo's a good player. He is a good player, I'll give him that. Back to... Arthur, come on, get the ball. It's back in again. Oh, what a save by the goalkeeper. That was an incredible save. It really was. Um, what can we do here? Hmm. Let's bring on Sherry Chef because he's been playing okay. We'll bring on Pablo Piatti in the middle for Zach. And we'll start the second half and hopefully we can get some sort of a result here. Come on, Thiago. Down to Mbolo. Ah, the highlight's going away. Oh, Christensen back, it's, oh my god, what a save by the goalkeeper, yes, get in, <clears throat> get in Willie, doesn't sound right does it, never sound right to be honest, can we get something from this, oh it's headed down again, their number nine's just killing us just now, Mbolo to Piatti, go on Gabriel, oh free kick, ref, Chambers on the ball, come on Chambers, do something, oh, it's back to Thiago, Good ball back to Chambers again. Go on, Chambers! Oh, it's off the bar! God damn it. Gilk out to middle. We're still on the ball here just now. Can we do something with it? Sherry Chef. Oh, Shawcross will intercept. There's a good chance we had there. We just couldn't do anything with it. Team talk. Let's do something here. And it's a hat trick for their number nine. <sighs> oh my god. We've not done too great this game, guys. And you know what, I think this season's going to be quite a difficult one. I don't see us even getting European football again this season. But next one, I am confident we'll get European football. But it's proven my theory that this year in Football Manager 2016, that it's a lot more difficult if you're a lower team. It's quite easy if you're a big team, but in, from, compared to previous FMs, it's always been quite simple to get a good team from just a couple of seasons. And we are getting absolutely pounded. That's oh, offside, thank Christ. No, but still, we're getting absolute abs We're getting shagged out there. Come on, boys, do something with it. It's probably the worst I've ever played, in all honesty. I mean, I've, I've been beaten pretty badly with this team, and this has to be one of the worst performances of the whole season, of the last two seasons. It's quite disappointing, actually. As the ball goes into Gilk, it's away again. 
Arthur on the ball to Marcia. Down to Cameron. No, Cameron. I hate that guy. Oh, it's back up to Van... R- I don't even know the names of these players. I'm trying to pronounce them as they come along, but do you know what? The words come into my mind and they just don't form a bloody word. Or a name. They just don't do it. Piatti on the ball to Arthur. Cameron with a long shot. Willie with safe hands at the back. He's had a lot of good saves this game, so we can't really blame him. It could be about 4, 5, 6, 1 down. Hoban, long ball up to Gabriel, number 9. What's he going to do with it? Gets it past, get it in the box. Mbolo, Mbolo with the shot, Mbolo with the goal. We're going to move from control up to... Let's have a look at the goal first. Gabriel beats his man. Long ball into the back, Mbolo takes it down nicely. Smashes the shot past Butland. Come on. Team talk, no. Overload, there's minutes left. Go on. Mbolo, lay it off. Come on, Chambers. Yes! <laughs> yes! Get in. We are 3 all. the last three minutes to go. And I think we'll meet, change that back down to control, probably. Chambers on the ball. Nice low ball in by Chambers, the right-hand side. And Gabriel put it out at the near post. Keeper, flat-footed, couldn't do a thing about it. We'll put it back to standard, because we don't want to get counter-attack now. And end up losing it 4-3, that would be pretty pathetic. So there's a couple of minutes left in this game. Can we get any more? Can we, oh, we've got a corner. Oh, it's away. Come on, Piatti. We've got 30 seconds. Get it back in the box. One Sherry Chev. There's seconds left. Oh, we're not going to do it. We're not going to do it, boys. No, it looks like it's going to go away for a 3 all result. If they blows the whistle now. Yeah, he's blowing the whistle now. But do you know what, guys? I'm actually quite happy with that performance. Now, we didn't do too great to start with, but we've pulled it back at the end of the game, and that's what we're looking to do. But um, yeah guys, this has been Makeshift here. I hope you've all enjoyed the episode. Please leave a like and I'll catch you all in the next episode. Alright, you take it easy and I'll catch you later. Goodbye.